Hello guys. So I just got back last night and it was, it was honestly like the plane ride. It was pretty good, which is very strange if you know me because I have horrible luck with planes. I just have a ton of luggages. I have two luggages, one backpack that I need to unpack right now. And I would say that's going to take majority of my time. I'm a little stressed right now because I might have an exam on Wednesday. I'm just waiting for my professor to put in the grades. It's currently Monday and the grades are not in yet, which I'm a little, <clears throat> my voice is shaking. That's how nervous I am. I think subconsciously it's in the back of my mind and I'm really just like, I want it to be over. And I also really don't want to have to take the exam. If I do have to take it, it's not the end of the world. I just really don't want to because exams are... A really stressful time for me. I have test anxiety and I know that's not just a me thing. A lot of people feel it but sometimes it's just like it's hard to deal with you know. Oh I'm just gonna unpack my luggages and try not to think too hard and maybe I'll start studying. I should I think I'm gonna start studying at least for like an hour today just so that I'm somewhat prepared so that everything doesn't fall on tomorrow if I do end up having to take the exam. So First time riding a bike in like probably close to a year. Is what it is. Hello, good morning, welcome. I have my coffee, it's a new day, bright, oh my god, this is the most boring intro ever, but it's a new day, new dawn. As you can see, there's quite a bit to unpack, um, so I think I'm just gonna put on some music and start the unpacking process. It's going to, I don't think it's going to take too long, probably gonna take it to like 12 or maybe a little less time hopefully, but yeah, I will just be unpacking for now. Yeah.
welcome back so i just woke up okay i woke up at like 7 a.m but then i was so exhausted so i went back to sleep woke up again at 9 uh went back to sleep woke up again at 10 <laughs> when i woke up again it was 12 and every time I went back to sleep, I had a new nightmare. So really, I'm still tired, but at this point, I was like, I just need to get up because, like, actually, what's going on? It's been really weird. Every time I've been waking up recently, I've been so tired. And it's like, I don't know why I'm waking up if my body is still tired when I'm waking up. Like, why don't, why won't you just let me sleep just a little bit longer? Also, this collar looks really... <laughs> Anyway, I thought I'd pop in and talk about the book I'm currently reading, Children of Bone and Blood. I don't know if that's what it's called. It feels like I've been reading it for a really long time. I think I've had it, I've been reading it for the past two weeks, not really consistently, but probably at least a couple hours a week and I'm still not done. It feels like a really long book. I don't know how long it actually is in real life, but maybe it's just because sometimes I'm interested in it, in it and then other times it feels like it's just dragging along. It's like kind of an adventure fantasy in the sense that it follows a group of characters as they travel through a bunch of different cities and villages and a kingdom. Things will happen and people get kidnapped and dragged away and it just is like this already happened. Like let's maybe stop this from happening. I do like that one of the main characters is kind of morally gray. I think that adds a lot of intrigue to the book but other than that some of the characters i'm like i feel like they could be fleshed out a little more and maybe that's why i'm not like it feels like they're fleshed out but not enough if that not enough to hold my interest throughout the entire book if that makes any sense this collar is annoying me so bad because why can you see my shirt that looks even worse i look like a dog i kind of want to change i think i'm gonna go change because Okay, I feel like this looks a lot better. I changed into a t-shirt, but as I was saying, I don't know how I feel. Like, I I guess I'm gonna have to wait until I get to the end of the book to see like how I actually feel about everything. Right now, I'm 87% of the way through, and I'm on a non's chapter. Uh, chapter 74, oh my gosh, how many pages is this book? I'm kind of curious, but I'm not gonna look it up. In the meantime, I will be making a matcha because I'm not really feeling coffee today. I don't know, I think it's because I just have the machine to make like an iced coffee, which I like an iced coffee every once in a while, but um, I prefer a latte. Not to be picky, but I prefer a latte. And I'm just gonna make breakfast. That right there is my newest go-to breakfast. It's a cream cheese side bagel and then a laughing cow side bagel. And it's so good because they're like both a cream cheese consistency, but they have like a slightly different flavor. So the laughing cow is more cheese flavored. Cream cheese is, I don't even know what cream cheese is, but it's so good. Would highly recommend. It's probably really unhealthy, but that's between me and those bagels. So try it if you would like. If you wouldn't, then no. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to keep reading Children of Bone, Children of Blood and Bone, if that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm gonna keep reading that and then eat my breakfast. And then I'm gonna start trying to clean up my room again because yesterday I didn't finish it. I got so exhausted, I just went straight to bed and had a restless night of sleep for some reason, but yeah.
I decided to make ramen right now, even though I'm not that hungry. Call me wasteful, but I just want to try this kimchi ramen. I don't even know if it's good anymore, but I just wanted to try it. I don't know. Right now, I'm thinking it's... I'm probably not gonna like it that much because it kind of smells like every other ramen from this specific brand and just something about the taste it just tastes spicy if that makes sense like you know how some things just taste spicy and they don't have an actual like flavor like the flavor is hot the flavor is spicy and it kind of smells like burnt hair a little bit which is highly unfortunate but I'm gonna try it hopefully it's good my hopes aren't high though